Okay, so today it's gonna to be really nice thinking of having just a pretty chill day. What we're wanting to do, we're gonna be working on Suburban again. And all we're gonna be doing is getting it more prepped to get the engine pulled. So today, my biggest goal, I wanna get everything off of the front, get this radiator support, hood strut support, bumper, all that off so that way it makes pulling out easier nice um, i want to tackle the electrical i want to get all of this disconnected pushed over the engine um i might figure out something to do with the intake since it's my first time pulling out the engine and this is plastic i might want to remove that so that way no chain gets in the way and busts it and then i'm out you know a few hundred dollars on something that was very easily preventable and if we have time, then I'll start working on underneath, getting the exhaust manifolds taken off, remove the fluids. Um, I won't be using the transfer case in this truck, so I want to get that removed first before pulling, just to reduce the weight a little bit. And that'll be it. So uh, just follow along, enjoy the time lapse, and uh, we'll get this thing prepped just a little bit more. All right, so we just got the front end apart. Wasn't that bad. Um, the truck was hitting the front. I might've talked about that in a previous video. So the AC had no Freon in it or refrigerant. The radiator had no fluid. Um, pretty much this thing is bone dry. So we were able to get everything out. We have much better access to the engine now. Um, one thing that's been bothering me this whole time is all the mice damage that's been underneath this hood. You can see how they just got all the hood insulation and it's all been buried on the top of the engine all around here. So before I go any further, I'm really gonna come in here, put on some gloves and just kind of clean this up first. But after that, once we get this kind of cleaned out and a little bit more presentable, we'll start with the electrical, get that pulled and that should be the next step. All right, so I don't normally do pro tips. This isn't what this channel's about. I don't feel like going over uh, torque specs, what size millimeter bolt is for this. This is more just you all watching us just kind of do something in the middle of a road. But there's one cool thing I want to show you that some people might not know. So when it comes to belts, they are tensioned. And eventually one of these pulleys will be a tensioner pulley, which we found out is this one. Whenever you do that, they are reverse thread. So it's going to be righty loosey, lefty tidy. And all you need to do is you just need to grab it and go tidy, and then it'll give you enough slack to take off this belt. So let me show that to you real quick. So you just get this on here, and you think this is gonna be doing something, but all you gotta do is push it in, and now you got this slack, so all you have to do is just get that thing out of here. Get out of here. And then it's off, just like that. It's that easy. Next thing on the list, uh, I wanna start getting the fuse block uh, disconnected from the engine. So I noticed that this piece goes under this support. So I'm going to take off these four bolts, boop, take off this lid like so, and then go from there. I should call this the hand tight trick. How much effort do you think you've put into, you know, breaking tension on bolts? Ah, oh, man, not very much. This was probably built on a Friday, so I'm gonna take it because it's making taking it apart very easy. So this fuse block, it's all plastic. There's a few clips, it's kind of hard to see, but there's a little tab back here. You just gotta boop, 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 boop. So you push that back, there's those two little clips. And then up front, 
Same thing, there's two, and you just gotta pull them out this way. So we just kind of pull this one, get the tension off, and then grab this one, up, this one, like so, and now she's naked. And then same for this, it's pretty straightforward on how you take it off. There's more clips right here in the front. Doot, doot, doot. And it might be just those, or could be some in the back, I don't know. We're just kind of rolling with it. Yep, it's the same ones in the back. So you have to do that. This comes off and it kind of exposes all the wiring for this truck. I'll need to remove these bolts, get everything off the power uh, ignition, and then remove a few bolts on the bottom to get the blocks off the fuses. And then this should just drape over the engine and we'll be essentially done with the electrical. Now here's the good rat's nest. This is the rat's nest I like. Mm, okay. So this, if I can get in the picture, there's just gonna be a few bolts in here. You know, let me know in the comments what this is, cause I don't know, we'll figure it out. And the nice thing is, is they stay in place. So when I take them out and get them loose, they'll stay in the plastic. So I can't lose them in this little cave. And after this is apart, it should be done. <laughs> Okay, there she is. That is a very fresh, low mile engine. I don't mean, I can just stuff this stuff in the intake and just let the engine burn it. That should be completely fine. Like any trash, this is the perfect time. If you need trash burn, they'll take care of it. All right, so we're gonna conclude today. Uh, I just wanna give a quick recap because this does look a little bit different than when we started. Uh, so we tried to get most of the big stuff out of the way to get this thing ready to be pulled. The entire front end was taken off. This is all bolt-on stuff, so it's really nice and easy. It just comes off, gives you all this room. Finished up the electrical, I got the ECU out, got all the wiring harness separated from the engine and the body, and then lastly, took care of the intake. So we had to remove the harness some more, uh, disconnect the injectors, get the fuel system off, disconnect the fuel lines, and then remove everything. Um, I'm only doing that so I have better access to the back of the engine so I can hook up an engine hoist to a better and with this intake being plastic, I really don't want to crack it. So um, we're getting to the final stretch. Um, next time we work on this, it's just going to be final things. Uh, I need to take off the heater hoses. Um, the air conditioning lines from the uh, dryer needs to be taken off. One last line for the power steering. And then I'm just going to be touching up underneath, uh, get the transmission harness off and remove the uh, transfer case. And after that, we'll be cranking her out. So. With that, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you like what we do, you know, leave us a comment. Tell us what's up. I really need to know some of these sizes because I just had to guess and I'm just pulling it out with my hand and that's getting really achy. So that's that.